Hi everyone, my name is Deepa Rana. I'm an escalation engineer here at Trevobed. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the basic troubleshooting approach for no HTTPS connection between Steel Central Controller and Steelhead due to acquiring CERT error. For this video, we are going to see what are the basic pre-checks that needs to be done in order to ensure connectivity and to troubleshoot the HTTPS communication errors between SCC and Steelhead. So let's get started. Here, I have attempted to add Steelhead into SEC, but HTTPS connection didn't get established. On SEC, it is showing disconnected, no HTTPS connection. And on Steelhead, if you check, it is showing acquiring cert error. So for the first check, we need to make sure that SEC hostname is configured correctly on Steelhead because Steelhead will attempt to start this HTTPS connection towards the configured SEC hostname. In my case, it's configured as Revobit CMC, which is not correct. Let's try pinging it to see if that Revobit CMC exists on network or not. So as expected, it is not pingable because it is the default configured name and we must change it with the real SEC host name in network. In order to do that, you need to first disable auto registration with the command, no SEC enable, no CMC enable. Once that's done, use the command SEC host name and then the actual host name of your X, SEC. Press enter. And okay, there is a typo. Press enter. Yeah. So now enable the auto registration back. SEC enable, CMC enable. And you can see over here that now it is reflecting correctly, but the error is still there. Save this. Let's try pinging this SEC hostname to see if we have reachability to it or not. Oops, looks like the address is not getting resolved. So if you have configured DNS on Steelhead, you might want to check what's wrong with it. Um, let's see if we have DNS configuration on this steelhead. In order to check that, just go to this networking host settings. Over here, you can find the DNS setting. In my case, it's not configured. So there are two options for me to move from here. Either I can configure this DNS settings over here, or I can add a static mapping for a hostname and app. IP. I'm going to configure static mapping uh, to resolve the hostname for this video using command IP host and then the hostname, which is n31-scc and the IP to which I want it to get resolved to 10.1.31.50. Now let's try pinging it again. So now it's pinging, which is good, but HTTPS connection is still showing the same. Right, yes, right. So let's move to second check in that case, which is to validate that both Steelhead and SEC appliance can communicate on port 443 and 9443. These are the ports which are being used to establish this HTTPS communication between SEC and Steelhead primary IP. But if it's blocked by any firewall or any other appliance on the way to SEC, then it is expected that it will fail unless you allow this, these ports on firewall. To check if the ports are open in network, we can make uh, use of telnet. So the command would be telnet, then SEC hostname, First, let's do it for port 43. So if the port is open, you should see escape character, this line over here uh, as a result. So for 443, we know it's open. Let's check it for 9443. You can see, we can again see the escape character connected to this, which means both ports are open in the network. 
uh, if the port is blocked, then uh, it's uh, mostly because of any firewall or any ACL and you might want to give it a check. In my case, it's open and uh, let's see the connection status. It's still failing. So let's move to the next step, which is to make sure that both SPC and Steelhead are running the correct date and time as per configure time zone. If any of them is not configured with correct time and date settings, then it could lead to the HTTPS connection failure because HTTPS connection make use of certificates and there this time settings plays an important role in validating the certificate uh, validity. So you can use show clock command to check what is the configured time, date, and time zone for the steelhead. Similarly, use the same command on SEC. Right? They both are configured with EST time zone. And you can see from here the time and uh, time zone, everything is correct as per uh, current time in EST time zone. So in my case, it's correct uh, as per their configured time zones. And uh, if it's configured wrongly, then you might want to adjust it going on GUI. You can do it uh, by navigating to administration and then this date and time settings over here. So this check is done. And the next check is to validate that SCC BEF certificate is valid, um, which you can check by navigating to this administration and then web settings and check the validity over here. In my case, uh, this is also correct. It is within the validity, um, but I can still see my connections failing, right? Show SEC. So this check is also good, but HTTPS connection is still failing. So what can be done next? Uh, usually I prefer to take TCP dumps to understand what's exactly happening on the back end. Uh, so in this case, to capture the required packet, I would suggest to first turn off the re auto registration, which will be done by no CC enable, no CMC enable commands. You can see disconnected over here, which means auto registration is now disabled. Once that done, uh, go to Steelhead GUI and configure TCP capture. Start TCP dumps from here. I'm just going to name it as SEC. You can specify the IPs if you want. I'm just going to specify the end IP of SEC. And I'm just going to capture it on the primary interface because primary interface is the one that deals with the communication between SEC and Steelhead. All the communication happens on primary interface. Let's start the capture. Once the capture has been started, turn on auto registration back again so that the issue can be recreated. Verify and you can see the issue has been recreated. It is showing acquiring cert error. Uh, now let's stop the TCP captures. So let's see the content of TCP captures now. Uh, basically, we have to look for two connections. That is one for destination port 443 and the other one is 9443 uh, going towards SEC IP, right? Uh, so let's take a look at 9443 first because usually I have seen errors happening uh, because of 9443 port. I can see there is a send for 9443 with this. So I'm just going to follow this TCP stream only. Follow TCP stream. Right. Okay, so there's something interesting. Uh, you can see that the 
TCP three-way handshake is happening um, and client hello is being sent from Steelhead towards SEC and SEC is presenting with server hello along with the certificate, right? But due to some issue, the Steelhead is rejecting the same saying it's a bad certificate. Right. So this 9443 actually make use of some internal Olympus certificate, which is generated automatically on the back end to establish connection. And uh, that is what SEC presents to Steelhead. And surprisingly, in this case, Steelhead is rejecting those um, in order to see why it is rejecting it. Let's review the content of this certificate. Uh, so this is what SEC is presenting. It's an internal certificate. You can just go over here and expand this field you'll find the complete certificate chain over here this is your certificate which is uh, being presented by sec to steelhead and uh, this would be always signed by a root CA and the, the root CA uh, common name would be 127.0.0.1. That's that's what I have seen. And uh, uh, this is the certificate which the root CA will sign, right? So to see why it is rejecting it, I would suggest to look at all these content, especially this validity field. And uh, here, yeah. Here, if you see this, it appears that this validity is starting in future. This is in UTC time zone. And if you convert it as per steelhead time, so it the certificate validity starts from 1204 UTC 16th. Um, to change it in EST time zone, just go to this website, timeanddate.com. That should be like 7, 4 a.m. And what is the time right now uh, configured on my steelhead? That is 3.15, right? So our validity is starting in future and that's why the steelhead is not accepting this certificate. Um, so if one steelhead is going to hit this time, is it's going to reach this time mentioned, it, it will start accepting this certificate. So one steelhead hit 7, 4 a.m. EST, it, it is going to accept this certificate and you will see the communication uh, will start happening. Uh, now in your environment, I would suggest not to play around with time and just wait for steelhead to reach that validity time. Uh, but in this, uh, to show you how it is actually going to behave once it reaches the time, I'm just going to make some modification on my steelhead time. I'm just going to play around with it. So for that, I'll just go to this administration and date and time. Okay, let's change the time to eight. Let's make it seven. That's 15, 715. I'll just make it 715. Okay, that's done. It's logged out and uh, Let's see what is the status now. You can see over here, uh, the HTTPS connection started to show connected. SSH connection will also get established in some time. Yeah, you can see, right? Over here, now both are showing connected. So you can see the error is now resolved. So these are some basic checks and scenarios that I have performed in this video. And in case you're still facing issues, even after verifying above steps, then you can always reach out to Riverbed support for additional assistance. Thank you for watching.